The next rule we're going to have to look at is to determine how many pairs of electrons surround the central atom. And that leads into the next step, which is to determine which pairs on the central atom are bonding pairs and which ones are lone pairs because the number of bonding pairs and the number of lone pairs are going to be huge when we're looking at what particular geometry we have. So by going through these sets of rules we're going to be able to determine quite a bit about each molecule. We can tell the shape of the particular molecule and there are two types of geometries that we're looking at and that we're concerned with. The first is the molecular geometry and the second is the electron domain geometry. The next thing that we can identify is something called the hybridization on the central atom. We can also determine all the bond angles in our particular molecule and we can say something about the polarity of the particular molecule and identify if it's going to be polar or nonpolar. So we can go through several examples using all of these steps and hopefully these will make a little bit more sense when we start going through examples and we talk about something called valent shell electron pair repulsion theory or VSEPR theory which is what we'll identify in the next video and go through examples of how to identify each bullet point here on this list.